to make it easy to synchronize the audio and video later. Except that's not really an answer to the question, is it? If the question was, why do YouTubers clap at the start of their recordings, then yes, that's the answer, it's to help with synchronization. A lot of the time, audio and video are being recorded separately. The microphone on my collar is sending its signal to a small and very beaten up recorder that's clipped to my back pocket. The camera is recording its own sound too, and saving that as part of the video file on its memory card, but it sounds terrible. So when I'm working on the edit and putting the two files back together, it's really useful to have a short, loud impulse sound at the start of both files so I can synchronise them just by looking for the spike on the display. There's a couple of extra complications there, though. First of all, should that synchronisation be perfect? That camera's about two metres away from me. The speed of sound changes a little with temperature, but roughly that's about six or seven milliseconds. Not enough to care about here, but once you start putting the camera further away, 10 or 20 metres for long shots, that sound can take a couple of frames to reach the camera and the audience. That would feel weird, so I'd have to slip the audio a little. That's why it's worth double-checking the synchronisation by looking for the frame of video where the hands touch. Plus, some cameras, particularly old GoPros, actually add some sound delay to the video file. The synchronisation is terrible. So if I've got three or ten or a hundred different cameras all looking at the same thing, I can use that clap to synchronise them all. Get it close by looking for the spike, confirm it by looking at the hands. Actually, worst case, the audio can actually be late by up to maybe three frames or so, and the chances are no one will mind or even notice. Actually, the sound on this video has been three frames late ever since I cut back to this shot of me. Uh, if you did actually notice, well done, I'll, I'll put it back to normal now. I suspect that works because brains are used to correcting for small speed of sound lags for people shouting from a distance, but that's just speculation. I can't actually find any research to back that up. And because the viewer might have things like a cheap external sound bar on a television that adds more lag, it's best to synchronise as close as you can. If the production's got a high budget, oh, they might use a clapperboard instead. That means the editor has a record of which file is which take of which scene at the start, and they can sync up the audio at the same time. But all that is still not an answer to the question. It's the answer everyone gives, but it's not what the title of this video is actually asking. This isn't why do YouTubers clap at the start of recordings, it's why do YouTubers clap at the start of videos. I've done that plenty of times before, I did it in this video. Why do we leave a bit of technical junk in there? Why do I set up a really nice shot and then ruin it by showing the setup part, letting my camera fuzz about with the autofocus and make the whole video worse? Well, I can't speak for everyone, but my reason is it sets the audience's expectations and it makes it feel more authentic. When I'm filming on my own with a static camera, it can sometimes look like I'm just stood against a green screen. But clapping, walking into frame, letting the focus settle, showing that behind-the-scenes moment, it proves I'm here, it makes me seem more trustworthy. For someone vlogging from the bedroom, keeping those claps and the preparation in, letting the audience see a little bit of the slip-ups and how it's made, it helps make a connection, helps make them relatable. I don't need to be relatable, I don't really want to be relatable, but trustworthy. Trustworthy is good, and leaving the clap and the walk in the video establishes that I am one person with one camera, that I don't have a crew on this shoot, and that I am actually here, wherever here is. Sometimes I'll leave that in when I actually do have a crew. It's all about the aesthetics. Showing that setup, leaving that synchronization clap in, it's about fitting the message to the medium, planning not just what you want to say, but the subtext of how you say it, and handling all the subtle cues that connect performer to audience and say, it's okay, you can trust me.